Guidelines for efficient and safe fuel delivery. You are more than drivers. You are fuel delivery professionals. You are responsible for making sure the right products are delivered into the right tanks at the right station at the right time. Cross-dropping, putting the wrong product into the wrong tank, can result in enormous financial loss, starting with the damages incurred by anyone who uses the incorrect product in their equipment or vehicle. Direct costs to cover a single cross-drop can easily exceed $50,000. The indirect costs, including the reputation of our customer, as well as Source 1, can be even greater. This is why cross-drop prevention is your top priority at every stage. Daily Checklist Careful attention must be given to even minor details, from proper uniform and personal equipment to conducting careful checklists before a drop even begins. Sign on to the system and make sure to check the prior driver bill of lading and to have the prior day post-trip inspection in hand. Outside the cab, check and verify tires and tire pressures, fittings, hoses, gauge stick, and scully lights, and verify that the internal and external discharge handles are closed. In the engine compartment, carefully check the fluids, belts, and hoses, and verify there are no leaks. At the terminal loading procedures, with dispatch in hand, set product indicator tumblers. Odd products, such as diesel, premium, mid-grade, or kerosene, should be loaded first, with each point along the way being verified to ensure that the correct product is being loaded into the correct compartment. Connect Scully ground cable and vapor recovery hose. Attach a color-coded second indicator to all product drop heads. Verify that the internal discharge valves are open. Check for Scully green light and connect load arm. Verify your dispatch to complete loading process at rack. When finished loading, verify that everything is properly disconnected. Acquire bill of lading from terminal office. Diagram compartments with gallons and product. Verify BOL and circle all product types and suppliers. Indicate verification with your initials. Scan the BOL. As you return to your vehicle, verify that the BOL matches the indicators on the truck. On the road. There is no let up in safety as the fuel is en route to the drop point, with zero tolerance for any unnecessary distractions. You must maintain proper following distance of six seconds while in transit. Space and visibility equals time to make good decisions. Remember, an in-cab camera provides backup protection for the safety of the driver and the product. As a Source 1 driver, you will undergo safe driving training through Smith Systems, the same program used by many Fortune 500 companies. At the station, position vehicles safely to unload product. Leave all phones in vehicle. Turn on flashers. Lift load bar to set brakes and set out safety cones to protect drop area and driver. Verify address and notify customer of your arrival. Obtain store tank readings to verify that the load will safely fit. Connect the vapor recovery hose to capture vapors in the truck. Check vapor hose connection before opening internal valve box to prevent vapor blowback. Open the connector head box and remove the fittings required to perform a safe unload. Put water detection paste on stick before sticking the tank and recording the reading. If water paste changes color, contact dispatch before proceeding. Hook odd product fitting to customer tank. Hook hose to fitting. Check that all color indicators match. The tumbler indicator, the tag on the API head, the fill lid, and the tag on the fill cap. If all four indicators are not the same color, stop and contact dispatch. Hook hose to truck. Use bucket as needed to prevent product loss. Check all fittings and hose connections. Open internal valve for first compartment only. Open slap valve to unload compartment completely. Check for any leaks and confirm proper hookup. Remain within 25 feet from shutoff valves at all times during the drop, keeping a vigilant watch for any leaks or safety concerns. 
Once the compartment flush is empty, check the sight glass on the fitting and drop head. The hose is to be left hooked up and walked out from the truck to the ground connector, and the head valve and internal valve are to be shut before the disconnection process is continued. Leave odd product hose hooked up to the customer tank until all other compartments are empty. Odd product hose is to be put away last. Open right ear on load head to relieve pressure. Open second head ear and remove hose. Disconnect hose from ground tank and hose fitting from ground. Perform stick reading and close ground caps. During disconnection, all hoses must be verified as empty and all hoses and connectors are to be stored and secured properly upon completion. Remove all color indicators from head covers and return them to Scully Box for next load. Dust caps should be left off from all empty compartments until vehicle is completely unloaded. The drop area and all equipment are to be efficiently cleaned and the proper onboard computer function must be completed. All phone calls and alerts are to be answered prior to driving, and any necessary communication with the customer should be completed before exiting property. Emergency backup plans are ready to be in place the moment a concern is raised. Product flow is stopped instantly and completely, and any spillage is effectively contained to eliminate any possibility of water contamination. The customer contacts are immediately notified, and any necessary follow-up actions are coordinated to ensure the safety of all involved. As a Source 1 fuel delivery expert, you're strictly maintaining all safety procedures until the fuel is accurately and efficiently dropped ensures the satisfaction of everyone. From our customers to the everyday drivers who depend on our fuel to keep their cars on the road. Source 1 drivers, delivering over 800 million gallons per year and 2.7 million gallons per day.